Sorry about this, but it's yet another motor video. So if you don't like AC induction motors, uh, I do apologize, but here's another video. And uh, as you can see, this motor is uh, substantially stripped down now. It's, uh, I'm condemning it, so uh, yeah, it's not gonna be reassembled. And the background to this is that I've got lots and lots of motors, uh, too many really, uh, but I can't say no to them when I see them. And I quite like uh, doing them up and uh, using them myself in, in various machines. But this motor, I never really use. I, I do vaguely recall getting it and uh, checking it out for safety, and it was okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, it did run as well. However, it's not been used since then for several years. And um, in uh, trying it out this evening, uh, there was a fault. Now, I did do some safety checks, earth leakage checks and things before I... Uh, wired it up to plug it in um, so it wasn't immediately dangerous or not apparently immediately dangerous anyway but on trying to start it up uh, there was definite fault um, the the shaft uh, would st would spin but uh, each time you started the motor it was a bit of potluck what direction it was going to spin in uh, which is definitely not something that you want and uh, also sometimes it would make uh, fairly unusual noises now there was also a, a noise that's characteristic of these motors that was absent as well, which concerned me, and that was I couldn't hear the clicking of the centrifugal switch, which is this part here. So I suspected straight away that was what it was going to be. Um, it is, by the way, a capacitor start motor, so as an induction motor, it's got two windings. So it's got um, a winding, uh, in one winding is in series with this capacitor, so that's the start winding and that puts the start winding out of phase with the main winding and the centrifugal switch this thing um, engages the start winding at low rpms and then uh, as soon as it spins up the uh, start winding um, is disconnected well um, it seems on um, taking the whole motor apart that the centrifugal switch was sticking let's have a quick look now that should just spring back, do you see? So that should just go straight back on its own, but yeah, it's it's a sticky mechanism. So that would be a fairly easy fix. Uh, all that you'd need to do is just clean the shaft off um, and uh, possibly a bit of very light lubrication in there. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's for various other reasons, I, I'm not going to mess around with this. By the way, let's just see if we can see the contact. So, uh, yeah, it, just in case you're interested, uh, that's the that's the contact for the that's the switch basically. Uh, all the rest is the mechanical stuff. But hopefully, you can see that there's the switch contacts in the middle of the screen. Yeah. So, I mean, the switch itself functions. It's just the fact that this uh, centrifugal switch mechanism is sticky, uh, stops it working. But the reason why um, I'm not going to bother or decided not to bother. Uh, to fix this motor was let's just move that it's quite quite a heavy thing um yeah so looking inside as soon as i cracked the motor open i could see that there were uh, repairs had been made in the past um so yeah so modern heat shrink sleeving over old wiring uh i can tell you what that is straight away that's uh perished wires so perished perished insulation i, I don't think that the um heat shrink is actually a bad thing at all uh but you know, for example, I can find wires that are perished and haven't got heat shrink on them. I don't know whether you can see clearly there. Yeah, you can just uh, see the uh, conductor there. So that's not a good thing. Um, and in fact, if we're talking about heat shrink as well, the capacitor as well has had heat shrink put over it because these invariably uh, have uh, a rubber uh, insulation uh, on the wiring. I, I think it's probably at the time there wasn't plastic uh, PVC anyway, because um, old motor, um, so they use rubber. Um, rubber's actually quite good, but it does uh, perish with age. So um, yeah, so there's lots of heat shrink being used. Uh, bad qu quality of the, um, or bad condition rather, the quality is probably very high, but the condition of the wire is, is, is so poor um, that yes, I could uh, redo that yes i could prob probably quite easily uh, release the um, centrifugal switch so it wasn't sticking anymore but just looking at it overall uh, i just think nah no nah. i don't i don't want it myself as a motor 
um, how much time do I want to put into it to actually then say sell the motor on and be 100% sure that it's safe and uh, so yeah so my judgment is it's, it's not just not worth uh, doing um, but I know that there's lots of people who do have these motors I think when it's in a good condition uh, when it's in a good condition, these are quite nice motors. Uh, this one is uh, half horsepower. I mean, when it was working well, it ran really, really quietly. Uh, very, very nice bearings in it. Um, half horsepower is probably okay for a small lathe or bandsaw, perhaps. Um, things that you might criticise it for nowadays is it's open frame. So, yeah, you can stick your fingers through. Not that that's too much of a concern for me. The bigger problem would be that dust can get in there and uh, swarf. Uh, if you compare that to um, a totally enclosed motor that's fan cooled over the body of the motor nowadays is, is quite typical. That would be uh, probably better if you were woodworking or uh, had uh, bits of metal flying around everywhere. So, yeah, I mean, it depends. You know, uh, lots of people you do use these motors and uh, in its correct application, I, I wouldn't have a problem with using it but this particular one bearing in mind condition of the wiring i'm saying no that's it okay uh, so you won't be seeing this one on ebay uh, not as parts or anything and uh, hopefully if you do buy one of these yourself from another seller you do make sure that uh, it is safe because uh, you've got to watch out for these these are vintage items okay that's it for the videos um hopefully you're enjoying the series of videos of um, motors if not then i'll uh, put something else up soon. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.